Good evening guys, it's 5.13 p.m. Today is Monday and we had a choppy up day. Okay, so continue to favor longs. So this is a note, continue to favor longs. So I'll, I'll quickly cover it because day was choppy. So there was nothing else to talk about except knowing that buyers are in control. So continue to favor longs above 41.48 and keep above this area in general. That's a bigger idea okay, to keep in mind. Today, ideally, I want to see the buyers holding it above Globex low minus one support down. So whatever the Globex low and below that, whatever the support above that, buyers are in control, you know, and I'm expecting price to make new high above Friday's high, you know, uh, and prefer buyers area is also important. And these are the dream numbers, 852, 874, very powerful for NQ, right? So now 852 right of the open you can see it bounce right 874 entire day held as a support right so now in q we know already fever longs es is also we know fever long price didn't even get to globex low right so about that it's all buyers yes globex low minus this support one support down about this area buyers right price even didn't get to globex low correct prefer bias area was also important so it is was holding it so overall buyers are in control even though this chop was there even though this down move was there you know so we are only favoring longs no shorts right now the way es so when i say no shorts doesn't mean you don't have to take short but no short means probability wise you are better off sticking with longs than shorts shorts you have to think about it you have to line up price action you know in terms of levels in both nq and es and you have to work hard basically in order to take short and still probability is only 50 50 in your favor you know regardless of how the day pans out but for longs you don't have to think too much you know a little work is required only little but not compared to shorts there are, there is more work required so that is what i mean otherwise you know every day price moves right back and forth so every day technically you can do shorts and long every single day right but that is not i'm trying to teach you here i'm trying to teach you so you can stick with context you know so my bias and notes and warnings you know all these things are lined up with bias overall so if you stick with the context or bias right you are better off uh, getting your profit quickly than waiting you know and, and probability wise it's more preferable choice which is long than shorts okay so but intraday if you see something if you want to take a short it will be like very quick and you have to like line up so many things okay so i'll show you today see i took one short also and i think a couple of members also took it despite i said not to take it you know so but as long as you know what you're doing you know and you line up everything and you work around the labels then you may get something out of it you know otherwise you stick with longs see how many times see if we long all these longs working out nicely or see shorts there is nothing there is no label here for the shorts except this see that but for longs multiple times right? there was no line here also for labels but in discord uh, i said hold on so this is what i said in discord at 8.41 so stick with pullbacks no breakout kind of trade and so no breakout longs and due to power and all this thing price may chop around in the morning so try to trade in the afternoon right conservative longs only breakout avoid it risky to trade right and then i said at 9.22 i said 90 98 86 01 06 10 areas to look for long evaluate only after the price goes over kind of breakout then pull back there so if the price goes over 06 breaks out nicely pulls back there you go long breaks out over 10 pull back there you go long you know so so you do not go long low long means you have to evaluate them right still you do have to do some work but it's 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 good levels you know basically so 90 right now let's look 90 98 06 01 10 up 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 see my point now you understand and every time when es came down here 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 
NQ did not leave sight of 874 dream number. See that? So NQ clearly knew that NQ is holding 874 now. Despite ES wherever is going. ES was also holding just support. It was just rotating between support back and forth. Right? Now you can argue hey, this was a resistance 12. Yes. Intraday yes. But you, you can see this is not a good resistance here. Good resistance was 20. Not this one. Supports, yes, they were all support. Yes, during the day it went through it, but we don't care. All I care is if it goes through it, break out, pull back, you go long. You know, if NQ is supporting at that time at the level, then you go long. You know, something like that. Uh, so here, when yes, so for example, in the morning, right? In the morning we let go price. So basically, when price went higher like this, we just watched it. I didn't take any longs. And I suggested in Discord, I think few few of the members took it, but I said I'm not going to take it. You know, when price moved, it's moved. You know, I may miss it, but I'm not going to jump on board in between. The rule is clear. I'm going to wait for a pullback. And here, specific condition I also listed out. So when price was here, uh, right here, you know, I said if price pulls back now from 13 to here, that's a good look, long location right here, 06 area. But if it before pulling back, if it goes to 17, 20 area and then pulls back, then probability is only 50%. Then I may not take long here uh, or I will evaluate twice. That is the wording I have used, you know. So NQ, I also gave a guideline. I said between this around 943 or between this somewhere here, you know, it may come down. And if it comes down hard, it will go straight to 874 which is it did here. See that? It came straight down to 874. So, and yes, it didn't pull back, did not pull back from here, but instead it went there and then coming down. So, now I have to evaluate twice before taking longs. So, and I was watching it here, right? So, I didn't take a long here, but instead I took a short here. See here, when it came down like this at 11, right? Which is right around here. See that top of this area pretty much here, which is this, right? So here, if bias were really legit here, it will immediately went goes up like this back here. But instead, you can see it, it went back up to here and then coming down, correct? So like this, right? So at this point, it was so here in NQ. See, NQ moves, you know, fast. And NQ was the one who, who started this strong up move right went into straight into this resistance so i was watching nq also at the same time so around 1006 you know which is right around here in es so i was waiting you know uh, for a long setup at the lower level but at the same time i knew now price is going to fill the gap so if yes is coming down from here or somewhere here to here NQ will go to 874. That was the idea. So then I was watching this price action. So when ES came down to here, at this here, it bounced as usual, right? Because buyers bought it here. So I wanted to see either it goes through this, then I may go long, you know, because now pullback is done and price going higher, you know, and then again pulls back here, I will go long. Or I may take a short here also, you know, because it's higher up location. So here in Discord, I said if someone wants to short it, higher up locations are good for short, but only reactionary, you know, because you need to know where it wants to go. So in this case, it, I was thinking it should go to dream number, you know, which is here. So now I have a room. So all I wanted to see is a little breakdown, you know. So when price went up here and it got rejection from 943, which is exactly I wanted to see. Then it came down like this. So this candle gave me some confidence that may it may go down you know but not guaranteed okay so yes by that time it was right here then both bounces here see that at this point is do or die either it goes here or goes down okay so when it was holding this view up and me then you had a flush down see that like this at 958 at the same time nq had this uh, sorry this flush down right so now this after 9.58 I was watching. So up from here onwards, 
I was watching. Right? Then ES came to where? O6 area, which is important, correct? So now I was interested to see what it does here. Can it hold it or can it go down? So the moment ES went down like this, it was 1003, right? NQ pulled back here, right? Little bit above yesterday's high and failed. And another down thrust. See, at this point, I knew it wants to go towards this area, okay? So when it came down like this in this candle two minute candle you know i zoomed zoom down to 30 second chart you know and then i was watching this so i knew that that some buyers bought it right underneath this high you know this yesterday's high so when so i drew a line there and basically that's my short location right here okay after seeing this so at 10.04 or 10.05, you know, I shorted it. ES at that time was right around here. 06 acting as a resistance. Support turned into resistance, which is this. 06. See the match? 06 and this. This was a short. ES, I didn't want to short it because ES, I had all the supports nearby, right? 98, 06, or morning low, gap fill, you know, there was not much distance. 01 any of the level can act as a support but nq was clear because nq is now 898 so if it fails here at least it goes back to 898 first right which is this low and our line was there or it may go here so if it goes from here to here i had my 20 points usually i don't look for more than you know 20 points in nq anyway so this was my clear cut trade i was out here you know when es was i think it was at 90 O three, no sorry, I think it was ES was at ninety, yeah ninety eight right here. Yeah, so ninety eight was a support, right? So I built up. Now here, when price came down to here, I said it's a first touch. I would not go long, considering this move, right? I'm going to wait for a pause. But if someone wants to take a long here, first touch they can. But you know, I will not take it because it came down straight down there. It's exhausted, but I want to see some pause. But here there was no pause. Price just see there was no pause. It just touched and bounced. So there is no trade here. But now I know since it bounced hard and it went through 06 again, 06 can act as a support, 98 can act as a support. So whatever the original morning idea, look for support, uh, breakout and support, turn into support, right? Those levels. So 90 here held it, 98 it price broke back above it, right? So 98 can act as a support. 06 can act as a support which it did here look at this right six point bounce then again 98 it came down touched it again bounce right at this point 06 was like you know twisted two times three times so now 06 is out of picture but still you can see it here 06 worked right here again it worked then here is a pullback to 01 and it worked and then here is it it just turned 10 into support see that so so if you're trading later in the day, this is how you have to trade it in this environment because Fed speakers were talking consistently today, you know, and the depth limit related talk was going on. So that's why price was behaving this way, you know. So <clears throat> overall, so we stop our trading right here. You know, when I bailed out here, I said, you know what, if you guys had a profit today, just shut down your machine or do sim trading. There is no live trading after this. So I, I was here near my computer in between. So I traded pretty much, you know, I think up to one o'clock. So I went late for a lunch today. So up to this point, I took all this long here, 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 you know, in NQ also at the same time, I took all these longs, you know, somewhere here long and then here long, you know, then here long, you know, and then after one o'clock, you know what I said, you know what, now price is not going anywhere. So I stopped playing same account, but pretty much I took all these longs, you know. But the whole idea was this was the only live trade that we took it. After that day was screwed, so no need to trade and you can save some time, you know. Like refresh your mind doing something else than trading this garbage. Overall, see Fed Kaskari is still talking. So all the Fed speaker were talking today. That's why it's behaving this way, you know. Overall, buyers had a control and they are they they already have a control. And tomorrow also will continue to favor long above this area. Okay, and that'd be all for today.